Under the Sea Journey of the Little Mermaid is uh, a new attraction that we're bringing from Walt Disney World Magic Kingdom. And it's really the anchor attraction for the Fantasyland expansion. It will take us, you know, in this undersea journey through all those great moments from the Little Mermaid. Cinderella's Castle will always, of course, be the shining star and uh, you know the icon for the Magic Kingdom. But when we looked at the Little Mermaid, we thought, wow, a great icon is Prince Eric's Castle, and, and that would be a great starting point for this journey for us to travel and, you know, under the sea. The attraction is really based off of the, the those classic songs from the film, and um, the big show-stopping moment is it really is under the sea, where Sebastian leads the Crustacean Band and hundreds and hundreds of figures, and it's just incredible, incredible amount of energy within that with that moment. Of course, the Aquatic Mermaid attraction would be complete without Ursula and her lair. You know, every attraction within Walt Disney Imagineering starts in blue sky. That's when the creative team really gets together and we talk about you know, what story do we want to tell. And, and a lot of times it'll start off just some rough sketches. Then we'll go and we'll start doing some storyboard work. Once that's formed, then it moves sort of in the concept and we lock down what kind of ride system it's going to be. And we go through and we'll do a show layout. Um, and then from there it sort of moves into the production side. The team really starts to define well, what are the animatronic figures like? What are the finishes of the rock work and of the, you know, of the show set scenes? Well, we have an amazing rock work team uh, being held by, uh, led by Eric Miller. Here at Little Mermaid, we're really excited today to begin the installation of the uh, armatures. And you can see here that we have a bunch of chips. Then those chips are part of the three-dimensional model that we're going to be attaching to the structural steel there. So after the chips are assembled, welded into place, and been inspected for their position, then it becomes a cement and sculpting. So we, we bring in a group of artisans, they uh, spray the cement on, and then once that sculpting is completed, then we'll thematically paint it. Um, what we try to do is tell a story within all the rock work. And then after that, of course, we move into the production, and, and we start to look at the means and methods as far as bringing the project to life. You know, we, what we try to do is immerse our guests before they even hear the attraction. And then once, of course, you see the castle visually, um, you know, that, that starts to tell the story of where your journey will begin. But then along the queue, um, you know, some great storytelling. And, and then, of course, by the time you reach the ride vehicle itself in the load area, um, you're, you're really ready to take that dive under the sea and, and go off on your adventure.